I cannot believe it. Three hours after being captured by the Kurgits, our kingdom and the Kurgits made peace. Now, where did that leave Dean Dunhandel and his man of very merry brigands? Well, great. Good job, Swadia. You made peace with one, instantly started. Oh, hey, look, we've got, we've got space now, we've got time. We've got all these options, let's just start another war. Kingdoms, of course, of the Rodox will be like, okay, now we've got to focus on the Swadians, so we're going to make peace with the Serenids. And Dean Dunhandle and the Merry Handlers, whatever they're referred to as, were caught in the middle of it. And then set free. Shortly after, every single member. We're executed. Apart from Jeremus, because he's a sly little bastard, aren't you? Aren't you, Jeremus? Yeah, you got out when they weren't looking. Took his top off. See, the Kirkits, um are morbidly afraid of nipples. Jeremus took his cloak off. His morale is slightly lower. He doesn't have to show his nipples in... How long was it? 24 years, Jeremus. And, um... As they had to shield their eyes, he just ran out. He just ran out the front gate. This was, of course, the last one before myself, and I just ran out with him. Um, but let me see your skills. Let's get your, um, let's get one more intelligence, and then let's try and bump up wound treatment. Inventory management. No. See, see, uh, key, key points, by the way. It says, uh, Iron Flesh, each point to this skill increases hit points by plus two. Personal skill. So that will, of course, affect Jeremus. His his hit points will go up with his health, right? Personal skill, personal skill, personal skill. As soon as it gets to party skills, this is where he, he could be so good at tracking. In this case, he's incredibly good at wound treatment, surgery, first aid. That, oh yeah, pump up first aid, there we go. That he can heal other people in the party and it affects them, right? 4% chance that a mortally struck party member will be wounded rather than killed. Um, and heroes regain 5% per skill level of hit points lost during a mission. And party healing speed is increased 20%. So those affect the parties. Now, I'm not too sure about leader skills. Um, but we're going to just focus on party skills for this guy for now. Trade, also a very handy one and let's of course you have a staff on your back um, do you use archery no you don't let's just do that um, how how are you you are ah, right you're using a one-handed most of the time and there's a pole arm as well it is not a problem it is not a problem um, sort out our inventory like that we've still got our sturdy leather jacket but yes but yes our proper armor was indeed stolen from us by the Kirkits. Now, let's pop up some hmm, agility. Let's put up some horse archery. Let's go here. We've got archery. Well, that's a really big bow that we've got there. I can't remember if we were doing one-handed or two-handed. What were we doing? Um, that's not what I wanted. One-handed. Looks like it. Looks like we're a one-handed man for now. So, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, we're down on our luck, but it is not a problem. For the time was always going to come. There's going to be a moment in our life. Were we required to start afresh? Were we required a revolution of sorts? A spiritual transformation? And of course a practical one. Um, we are in a new age. We are in a new age. The age of the um, Dunhandlers is a ages come and go as they do, but they, they, um, they, they sometimes end 
on a rough note. But sometimes they end on a positive note. After consulting with the peers of the realm, King Harlos has decided to confer the marshalship on Count Tradium. Good job. Good job, Harlos. And now, instead of costing us 300 dinars, it costs us 22 a week because we have just five of these guys. Jeremus. That's it. How much does Jeremus cost? Three. These guys, one. So, really, not that much of a problem right now to, to withstand. But, um, as I was saying, it was a bit of a rough ending to the Dunhandlers. 20 forest bandits? Not so sure about that one. We're not so good at protecting villages from forest bandits, are we? Last time it was Faderichin. Let's head to Faderichin, make sure it's alright. Looks like the Nords are going on a military party, accompanying Jarl Aiden. Could go join them to see what, what the big idea is. Are the Nords, who are the Nords? That's not what I want to click. Who are the Nords at war with? The Vigas, right, so that's easy for them. Right here. The Nords are like pretty much encompass the Vigas, but the Vigas kind of encompass the Nords as well. Feodorchen still have not recovered from their infestation of mountain bandits. I called it inhabitation, because um, it seriously seemed that there was just so many mountain bandits living there. And the city was, and the town was flourishing as well. There they all are, um, all getting in a, all getting in a big. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna go to war right now, right here. We're just gonna watch this. No, no, no. Doesn't look like it. I've never been to Ruvar before. I don't think we've actually even been onto this peninsula before. But here we are. The peninsula. Wurchig. We could pop by Wurchig. Or will it be pronounced Wurchig by the Nordic people? Not really sure. Not not fully confident on that. Because these are, of course, inspired by real... Uh, ooh, can you not? Sea Raiders. We only have recruits. I mean, I know we can take them. But... I also know that Sea Raiders, <gasps> they have prisoners, a farmer and a peasant woman. We will liberate you. We will liberate these prisoners. Everyone, follow me. The sun is setting. Wurchig is in the distance there. We're just close to the city of Uruvar. Now. Enemies spotted. What we want to do here? Well, we only have recruits, of course, so they just have farming equipment mostly. Scythes. Wood chopping axes. Ooh, battered shields, I see. Um, and they may have stones on them. Um, just, just hold, hold here for now. They may have stones on them. They may not. Of course, Jeremus, you, you follow me. You're, you're not a part of, you're not a part of them, them, them low lives. Now, open fire with your long bows that you obviously do not have. Um, I have no idea how, when, if. Oh, did he just did he just strafe that guy? Did he just strafe away from the arrow? I I'm curious. Okay, everyone. Get in there. Get in there. Finish him off, Jeremus. Finish him off. Yeah, use your use your stick, your staff. That's literally the weapon that we use to to bludgeon disobedient farmers when we collect taxes for the local lords. Not what we use to kill sea raiders. These people have no mercy, have no remorse in their hearts. They just, get me out of here! Oh gosh. What are you doing? You're gonna die if you just run out like there by yourself. We need tactics, teamwork. I do have upgraded horse archery now, don't I? So that was a great shot to pick these. Um, my efficiency with horse archery. Finish him off. Good job. See, now that recruit will get specifically more experience points than the other recruits. Because he did something useful. Um, finish them off as well. Everyone charging Jeremy, so you don't have to follow me. You can, I think I told you to as well. Where, where did Jeremy go? Is that it? Wow. More raiders and bandits rid from this land, the more opportunity we have to take their place. Farmer, I'm gonna hire you. Peasant woman, 
I'm going to hire you. You have been freed. I do not have any prisoner management, so I cannot do that. Um, and of course, I'll grab all this because we're down on rough times. Um, and I can sell this at the, the local town of Wurchig. Get some more recruits. And let's head over to Wurchig. Uh, on the way there, we can get some Nord footmen. Some Viger footmen. Let's put these up there. Nord footmen up there. Nord recruit. Go down there. Farmer. Peasant woman. Okay, that's interesting. Let's put you up. Actually, no, we probably do need to just protect you both for now. You're not you're not incredibly incredibly strong or capable. I don't even know if you've got any weapons. Do they have any weapons? I have no clue. Village farmers? We could take them out. Slightly ironic. Now, let's head over here. I don't believe that we are in any threat in this area. Marketplace. Just the usual. Selling all of the weapons that we have. 200 dinars. Perfect. Selling all of the armor that we have. Perfect. And just buying... Something to just keep the men and women happy. Definitely not cabbages, just some more fruit. Still got a lot of fruit there. Dried meat, smoked fish, some cheese. That's all good. Salt, wool, cloth, tools. Oh, the day will come. The day will come when we will be able to set up a... Set up a flourishing business. Transporting velvet across the land. And all sorts of high value goods but for now the time well we still haven't found count of fire and we still haven't found this mountain mountain bandit lair um, but I can probably find that soon I have had a tip off um, from a certain anonymous um, an anonymous member of the uh look at that that's 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 reckless traveling across this cliff side um so as i was saying i have had a tip off from why are we, go, why are we going to you Uddiniad? we're not going to Uddiniad. we are going to we are going to praven Seems like a bit of bit of a way, a bit out of the way, um, but it's not. We are at war. I mean, we because I've hired my sword for for the um, Swadian Empire. Um, I've I've let them hire my sword. Um, so what what that means is it means that their enemies are our enemies, meaning the Rodox are our enemies to be to be precise, straight to the point. Um, as we travel through here, Vayajig, you look like you're in... Oh, no, you're good. You look, you look fine. Now, would you like to leave this terrible land of Vayajig and where you often get looted, destroyed, raped, pillaged, and join join the Dunhandle Dudes? That's right. We call the Dunhandle Dudes. There we go. There's another... One of my loyal subscribers uh, offered that to me. The Dunhandle dudes. We were the Dunhandlers. The Dunhandlers are over, of course. Their life cut short by Ekadar Noyon. Um, and the Dunhandle dudes are on the rise. They are on the rise. Uh, Kurgits and Serenids are not affiliated to either, of course, apart from the fact that I hate the Kurgits with my soul. Um, with every inch of my being but we still have no political affiliation to either of them Saranids nor the Kirkits. but uh, the time has come the time has come to finally attack this bandit bandit lair a, a subscriber has given me some very valuable information indeed north of Praven across the bay between the shore and the hill north of Praven, across the bay, between the shore and the hill. There's the bay, there's Praven. So, this bandit hideout should indeed 
be somewhere near the local town of Gazim. Whether the subscriber has the right idea or not, we will see. But of course, we have no idea, do we? So, across the bay, it's daytime, so we should be able to see further than we could have at night. Between the shore and the hill. Hmm. Could be the very edge here. I doubt it. I doubt it. Between north of Praven, across the bay. Tracks. Two hours. Party signs, 40 to 49. I don't think that's them. Let's head back. Let's, let's, let's scout the top most region parts of this mountain. They are mountain bandits after all. No, it doesn't look like doesn't look like they're up here. Okay, let's scout the very lower regions of this of this valley that goes down into a bay. No? Any tracks? That's our tracks, I think. Forty to forty I think we were looking at our tracks before. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's ask the people of Kasim. No, let's not. I don't know. The Swati and whole business didn't work out very well from for me before. Now, do you have a town? How do wagon wheels get on the roof? Again, I just don't get that at all. Town elder. Everyone's sleeping, I guess. There's no. Why do they put crates on the roof as well? Hmm. If I was a town elder, where would I live? Probably up here on this dank hilltop mansion. Ooh, I'm hearing dogs. The animals are restless. Come on, Bertie. You can do it, Bertie. This is still Bertie, right? Yeah, Bertie. Beautiful. Beautiful mottled, mottled skin of Bertie. And you are the village elder. Meaning, you might have any enemies. You haven't seen any enemies. You do not need any tasks. And that's that's the recruit that I mentioned before that I don't actually want. Because I'm not sure about the whole Swadian Swadian ideal. It just doesn't align with my own philosophy. Um But we but we tried to go north of Praven. This is that's north. Praven across the bay between the shore and the hill. Maybe it is near here. 25 dinars, still not that much. Um, oh, and also, daily, the party undergoes training from whoever has the training skill. Um, of course, that's... Uh, let, uh, why didn't we ask the people of Aldeline? Poppity, poppity, poppity. Yeah, I'll recruit you. Also, go to the village center. I think it's just sunrise. Yes, it is. It's dawn. Or is it sunset? Can't tell. It looks like a sunset kind of sky. But, um, maybe, maybe dawn. So, let's ask the village elder. Here he is. Chilling out by the picnic benches. Looks like a, a, a man that appreciates fine wine. Any tasks? You don't have any tasks. Any enemies? Neither seen or heard of any war parties in this area. Well, 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 well. Down to Kloom we go. Oh, sh no, I, I don't think that they're going to have any more information for me than the previous towns did. Bullen. Nothing. No one. Nowhere, nowhere. Gerlid, I have no time for you. Um, and we're back at the town of the city of Tyr. And do I have any stuff on me that I can sell? No, I don't. Wow, if any, wow, they went through that food quickly. They just got fruit now. That's not good enough. They need some meat and some carbs. There we are. Leave there. And um, looks like we have no need for more people right now. Company 44 out of 44. We have 33 Nord recruits? 
I didn't realize. No wonder we're not getting any... No, no wonder we're not getting any interest from people. We've got too many people. We can't, we can't sustain this many, this many soldiers. Yal Rayek, I don't think I have any issues with you. Now, you shall be the Dunhandle dude's first victim. Or were the Sea Raiders technically our first victim? We, I don't know if we had christened ourselves Dunhandle dudes. Your money or your life. They combined forces against us. Okay, they combined forces against us. The bastards, the utter, the, the villainy that you encounter in this land. Ah. Oh. This is, this is going to be fine. Uh, Jeremy, so you, you maintain following distance with me. Infantry. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Maybe... Maybe the infantry should charge. How about... Infantry? Just... Can you, like, stand closer, maybe? Uh, does that make it easier for them? Does that make it an easier target? I'm not sure. Infantry? Charge! Cavalry? Charge! Everyone! Get in there! Remember, each forest bandit you kill is the opportunity for you to become a forest bandit. Oh, the last time we encountered forest bandits, I believe it was in the small town of Fairy Chimpanzee. Jeremy's a little naked. There's one person in there going to survive this encounter. Um, by the looks of it, Jeremy's, okay, he's getting out of the battle when he can. Seems like a smart, smart move to do. Jeremy's, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, we just gotta. Oh, oh. Jeremy's. No, not my recruits. Oh my god, the recruit got him. We are gonna lose a few people. But that is no matter. Looks like we also have defeated quite a few people. And looks like we have they have reinforcements. Where are our reinforcements? Everyone, charge? Reinforcements? No? Hello? Doesn't look like we have any. Scumbags. Oh. What's, what's going on with my aiming with kill? Oh, I thought he was going to keep moving there. Yeah. Uh, I got him then. And I just went straight over his elbow there. And in the back, he's dead. And in the in the leg, my own friendly troop. And uh, in the leg again, for another friendly troop. It's all about the, um... It's all about the recruitment process. If you want to be a done handle dude, you got to be able to handle the main dude, Mr. Dean himself. you got to be able to handle him. Giving you a surprise arrow in the kneecap every now and then. This is how that works. Like, if you didn't realize, then. I'm sorry. Wow, we are we wearing a ragged hood. I didn't realize. That's kind kind of embarrassing. We're just wearing a ragged black hood. 16 to head on, and this one's better because it's sturdy. Swap that out. Gosh. And this one actually has leg armor, but we look like a total dweeb. And remember, we. Mm, nope, longbow's better. Um, and remember, we we are all about that style. So, we have one trained footman now. Look at him, chainmail made a made a return. Viga veteran or a Viga skirmisher? Let's go for skirmishers because we want archers in the end. Because we we need some archers, footman or huntsman. Um, we need to think about this. Peasant woman, camp follower. Look at that. Got some equipment out of nowhere. Um, with so we have one footman, eight footmen. So we have nine infantry units right now. Uh, the camp follower will be upgraded to a huntress, meaning archer unit. Watchman, I believe, will go to cavalry. Maybe not fully sure. Um, so meaning we have nine infantry five of these five archers so let's let's get those up there um, and then let's just do slightly more infantry than archers Does, did that make any sense 
Probably not. Didn't probably didn't make any sense for you whatsoever. Um, but all I do know is is that it's it's all gonna work out. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally all right. The game is getting pretty excited right now. It's like giving us some tense, epic battle music. Thank you, thank you, game, for calming down there. And we can head to Uxkal. And we can go to the marketplace and sell all of our all of our goods that we looted. This is literally just the life of a bandit. I love it. I love this life, you know. Um. Now, whether we need to buy something or not, thirty-one thousand. Obviously, not that. Mm, if only, if only we could someday have that. Well, actually, we could have that. But it really does not suit our our style whatsoever. Um. Ragged tribal warrior outfit. Oh man, just the options are. That's too good. Oh, that that's just too good. Look at us. There, yeah. it literally just just look like pajamas. Can I have that back, please? Um, robe. <laughs> pajamas. <laughs> it's not as good as ours, so I'm not, I don't even know why I'm looking at it. Twenty-three and seven. We could be a bit of a Robin Hood, couldn't we? We could. Oh, look at us. Look at us. <laughs> look at us. Oh, no. Beautiful. Absolutely, wonderfully, amazingly beautiful. Now, to head to the land of the Rodux? I don't think so. Um, but to find Count Rafad, yes please. Let's go to the castle. Which lady do I have the pleasure of meeting this time? Lady Bela. Bela. Hey Bela. Dean Dunhandle, these are the Dunhandle dudes. I want to know the location of Count Rafad. I'm still still on the lookout for him. Kelridan Castle. Thank you. If that is close by, then we will be able to really quickly just head over to Kelridan Castle. It is incredibly close by. Oh! We're being followed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I'm protecting these guys. I'm escorting these guys. That's right, where are you going? Talbur. Where's Talbur? Ah, there. Talbur. Forest bandits? Yeah, that's right, you were going to attack those farmers. Poor farmers over there, weren't you? Oh, you're going to loot Chide? No, you're not. You can Chide to do it. Oh. Wow. This is where everyone is. Isn't it? Rafad? Rafad! Oh man. You're quite Rafad to find. Can't Rafad. I heard that Akadar Noyan crushed you underfoot like an ant. Children should not play games made for crimes. Little boy. Well, he was faster than I. Caught up like that. Done. And. I thought that we were at peace with him. No, well, we did become at peace with him just soon after. About the task, I found him and I gave him his punishment. 300 experience, relation negative one for some reason. We'll be a lot better without you. Thank you, Dean Dunhill, for removing this long festering thorn from my side. Tis good to know you can be trusted. 300 dinars, not a copper less. Thank you. Negative one to zero. Perfect. My thanks. Do you have any more? My father. Wow. Has been taken prisoner by a count. So you say that I shouldn't get involved in the matters of attacking other counts and lords and, and noyans, and now you tell me to go... Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, what are you actually saying? You need to get my father out of prison. You may be able to pay the ransom. Walk up to the girl, take the keys by force, and fight your way out. I don't think so. I'm still a little boy, remember? Gosh. These people are just expecting far too much of me. <laughs>